Did you hear about the time Samson entered a barber shop and said, just a little off the top, please. Talk about a bad hair day, am I right? Now, let's rewind a bit. If you're not familiar, Samson is a famed character from the Bible known for his superhuman strength. But his power wasn't from bulging muscles or a rigorous workout routine. Nope, it was all in the hair. Yes, you heard it right, his hair. You know, the thing we spend hours washing, drying, styling, and occasionally crying over when it just won't cooperate. This might sound like the plot of a comic book, a man whose superpower is tied to his flowing locks, but it's actually part of a prophecy. You see, before Samson was even born, an angel of the Lord appeared to his mom and gave her the 411. He told her she'd have a son, and this son would begin to rescue Israel from the Philistines. But here's the catch. He must never cut his hair. It's kind of like the Bible's version of a superhero origin story, isn't it? Only instead of a radioactive spider or a secret government experiment, it's all about hair. Makes you wonder if Samson had a secret stash of hair products to keep those locks luscious, huh? I mean, imagine if that were true today. We'd all be rushing to the nearest salon, wouldn't we? I'll have the Samson special, please. And don't even get me started on the potential for hair-themed merch. Samson Super Strength Shampoo, anyone? But, all joking aside, Samson's hair was truly his strength. It was a symbol of his commitment to God, and it was this commitment that fueled his extraordinary abilities. When his hair was cut, he lost his strength. So, remember folks, next time you're having a bad hair day, just be glad you're not Samson. Ever tried to solve a riddle? Now imagine doing it while wrestling a lion. Now that's what I call multitasking. So let's dive into the story of Samson's first wife and a certain wedding feast that would make any modern-day wedding planner faint. It's a tale full of twists, turns, and a riddle that would have even the sharpest minds scratching their heads. Samson, our strong man, is about to get hitched. But this isn't your average wedding, folks. No, this one comes with a mind-boggling riddle. Our man Samson, feeling a bit playful, decides to challenge his wedding guests with a riddle. It goes something like this. Out of the eater, something to eat, out of the strong, something sweet. Sounds cryptic, right? Well, it's not just any riddle, it's a memory of that one time when he, you know, casually tore apart a lion and later found a beehive inside its carcass. Because that's something that happens every day, right? The wedding guests, well, they're stumped, they can't figure it out, so they turn to the bride, Samson's sweetheart. They plead, they beg, they might have even bribed. And our dear bride, she gives in, she pesters Samson until he finally spills the beans, or rather, the honey. Now imagine the scene, the guests, triumphant, reveal the answer to Samson's riddle. And our strong man, well, he's not pleased, he's been betrayed by his own bride. Can you feel the tension, the drama, the absolute absurdity of it all? But that's not the end, my friends. Oh no, Samson, he's a man of action. He storms off, leaving his bride behind, and this, this is where things really start to get wild. But that's a story for another time. And the moral of the story? Never trust a woman who can't keep a secret, or a guy who tells riddles at his own wedding. You've heard of the fox and the hound, but what about the fox and the torches? Now Samson, our muscle-bound hero with a sense of humor, was not one to take things lying down. When he discovered that his wife had been given away to his best man, Samson was, understandably, a bit peeved. And when Samson got peeved, things tended to, well, heat up. In a retaliatory prank that would make even the most seasoned YouTube pranksters blush, Samson came up with a plan. It was so audacious, so utterly outrageous, that it's hard to believe it's not a tall tale. But this is the Bible we're talking about, folks, where the unbelievable is perfectly believable. Picture this. 300 foxes. Yes, you heard it right. 300. But Samson didn't just round up a legion of foxes for the fun of it. Oh no, he had a purpose for these poor creatures. A fiery, vengeful purpose. Samson, in his infinite wisdom, tied torches to the tails of these foxes. Can you imagine the sight? Three hundred foxes, each with a flaming torch tied to its tail, lighting up the night like a fiery comet. But the spectacle didn't end there. Samson didn't just release these foxes into the wild and call it a day. No, he sent these flaming foxes into the fields of the Philistines, setting fire to their crops, vineyards, and olive groves. Talk about a hot pursuit. In the annals of history, there have been many tales of revenge, but none quite as fiery or as foxy as this one. Poor Philistines, they didn't stand a chance against Samson's flaming foxes. Their fields were reduced to ashes, their livelihoods up in smoke. All because Samson had a bone to pick with them. And that, my friends, is why you should never play with fire or foxes.
You know what they say, a haircut is just a change of style unless you're Samson. Now it's time to introduce the femme fatale of our tale, the alluring Delilah. Delilah was not just any woman, she had a certain charm that could make even the strongest man weak in the knees. And unfortunately for our muscle-bound hero, she was about to give him a haircut he would never forget. Picture this. You've got the strength of a thousand men, all thanks to your illustrious mane. And then in walks Delilah with her scissors glinting in the moonlight. She's got that look in her eye, you know the one, the one that says, it's time for a little off the top. But this wasn't just any trim. Oh no, this was the mother of all haircuts. The kind of haircut that could bring a man like Samson, a man of Herculean strength, to his knees. It was the haircut equivalent of kryptonite, the Mona Lisa of hair disasters. It was, in short, the worst haircut in the history of haircuts. It's like when you walk into a salon asking for the Rachel, but walk out sporting a Joe Exotic. Or when you try to channel your inner David Beckham, but end up looking more like a botched attempt at a Picasso painting. But for Samson, it wasn't just about looking good or keeping up with the latest trends. His hair held the secret to his strength, and losing it meant losing everything. It was the ultimate bad hair day, one that would lead to his downfall, and all of this because of a woman with a pair of scissors and a penchant for treachery. It just goes to show, never underestimate the power of a good, or in this case, a truly terrible haircut. So the next time your barber asks how much you want off, maybe think twice before you answer. Ever heard of a comeback story? Well, Samson's is one for the books, literally. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, Samson, our hair-obsessed hero, was at his lowest point. But don't worry, folks, he wasn't down for the count. You see, his hair had started to grow back while he was in prison. And with his hair came his strength. But it wasn't just the hair. No, it was his faith that truly renewed him. Now the Philistines were in a celebratory mood. They were throwing a grand party in their temple, toasting to their victory over Samson. Little did they know that their party was about to be crashed in a big way. The Philistines decided to bring out Samson for their entertainment. They thought he was weak, helpless. But they were in for a surprise. Samson, standing between the two main pillars of the temple, prayed to God for strength one last time. And boy, did he get it. With a mighty push, Samson toppled the pillars, bringing the entire temple crashing down. Talk about a party pooper, right? But wait, here's the real kicker. Samson, in his final act, took down more Philistines in his death than he did in his life. And there you have it, folks, the story of Samson. A tale of strength, faith, and a whole lot of hair. It's a story that reminds us that true strength isn't just about brawn. It's about belief, conviction, and yes, a bit of divine intervention. But it also tells us that no matter how tough things get, there's always a chance for a comeback. So, whether you're feeling like Samson after a bad haircut, or like him in the Philistine Temple, remember, it's not over until it's over. And so, Samson's story teaches us that strength isn't just about muscle, it's about faith. But hey, having hair couldn't hurt, right? Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video.